All right, guys, welcome to another video from TDL DIY. So uh, today we got a, a flat tire, um, and I have an old tire, and I'm going to show you how, um, if you have an old tire kicking around, you know, uh, I would keep it, because you never know when you can just do a patch job versus buying a whole new tube, because uh, buying a whole new tube is 10 to uh, $15 Canadian. Um, in the States, I'm not sure what that would be, maybe 7 or uh, $12, something like that. Um, so it's good to keep uh, an old shitty, um, I guess an old blown out tire, that's no more good, the valve stem on this broke. You can you cut it up and use it for patches. And it saves you from buying a patch kit too. So um, if you got some glue kicking around, some, uh, I don't know, contact cement or some type of uh, some glue, that's what we're going to need today. Uh, and some type of scizors or uh, exacto knife or any type of cutting instrument. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this tire off uh, and get the tube out, find out where the hole is, and uh, we're going to patch it up. Issue. There was already a hole patched, so uh, that might be it. And if so, all we're going to do is throw some glue on that one and Bob's Renko. But for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm going to take that patch off and I'm going to show you how to do it with this. So I'm going to get some air, figure out where the hole is, and I'll be back with you in two seconds. Okay, so that's exactly where the hole is. I'm just gonna put a little circle around right where the hole is so I can center up the patch. It's always ideal if you have a file or something, just kind of rough up the surface a bit. So you always want to make it quite a bit bigger than the hole. Uh, it could have been maybe it's just slightly bigger, but I think this will be uh, a good size. So what we're going to want to do now is take a file or some type of uh, instrument to rough up this surface as well, because we want the glue to stick to it. If you buy a kit, it comes with a special thing that's pretty aggressive and you can just hit it with that and it will rough up the surface. Now what we're going to do guys, we're going to throw a little bit of glue on it and uh, put a clamp on it. For, for a little bit but to, until the glue sets up and we'll put everything back together. So I like glue right over the hole. Just this way it uh, hopefully it'll seal that hole up right and put glue all over the place. Don't be uh, don't be afraid of the glue. Any clamp will work guys but uh, I just have a, I have a C clamp and that should uh, work just fine. You can throw it in a vise or something, I'm sure, too. Just you, you just want some pressure on that, that's all. Just to make sure it stays put and gets all sealed up. There we go. So we're just gonna let that sit up for a bit, guys. And uh, then we'll come back and uh, see you in a bit. Put it all back together after. So pretty excited. This, this is a great little trick, guys, to save you uh, some money. Just keep the tube and you can have so many patches, even an old bicycle tire tube. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be the same size tube, it just has to be a tube, it's the same type of material, and just use that, and uh, yeah, that's a, it's a great trick. Anyways, we're gonna let this set up, and then we'll put it all back together, and we'll see you shortly. All right guys, <clears throat> so I just took the clamp off together, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. So that's kind of what it's gonna look like when it's all done. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to stuff it back in here. got his proper uh, proper air in it now and guys that's how you fix a tire uh, with another tire you can use uh, the other the other tire as a, as a patch and uh, we got this one back to working properly so if you like this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below you can always share with friends and family and uh, if you really like this feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and don't forget, never stop learning.